Hi folks. <clears throat> okay, this will be a very simple uh, house project using Rivet architecture. Okay, now the first thing you want to do here, you start by coming to the upper left. Oh, get in there. Select new project, and we want to select the architectural template. And we'll select OK. Open here. That'll open sooner or later. Sorry about this, folks. Uh, it's a little slow here. Okay, I think we got it open here. Now, this area here, this area is our drawing surface. And you'll have these two icons here, your project browser and your properties panel. Now these can be on either side, you can move them around, they can be stacked, okay, but uh, you need to make sure you have them both before you get started. So the first thing, if you don't have them, you can go ahead and view, and here in user interface, you can just check off, uh, say if I hit project browser, it goes away so we bring that back but that's how you find them if they're if they're not showing just basically go into that okay now now I like them stacked sometime they might be you can put dock it up top you can dock it below or have your preference of how you want to show these. Um, I tend to use it this way. And then I could dock it there. See, it goes to the top. Let's see. Let's just bring this back over here. Now, let's go back to the architecture tab. And let's go to our self elevation and double click so now once we are in that south elevation let's change the name to this one so that's simply by double clicking here and let's call this um, let's call it level one finished floor so let's say level one which is right over there, and let's say FFL. And just click right there, and you want to say yes here. Would you like to rename corresponding view? Say yes. Then we'll go to the top one here. Let's call this top plate, which is the top of the wall. Let's say top plate here. And yes again, and we want to change this to eight feet. The top plate is be the top of the wall, and we want our, our wall heights to be eight feet. Hit enter. See, so knows that it adjusts to that uh, elevation. <clears throat> now, I'm going to save this project.
I'll put it on my desktop. Uh, just put it there, and we'll call this house project. Let's just say house project, or whatever you want. Uh, here's the phone. I paused this, folks. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, folks, sorry about the phone call. So we're going to call this house project. And we'll lay her on our desktop. And we'll save it. Okay, now come to floor plan, level one, finish floor, and double click. Okay, now go up and select the wall, the wall tool. Okay, now here we have a basic wall. We have other choices here. Now if you get further into we'll build custom wall systems for now. Or we'll just use the basic wall for now. So now for location line, we'll use wall center line or we have these choices here. You can have core center line, and we talked about this the other day. Okay, so we're going to say core center line. What's the core center line? And then our top constraint here will be our top plate. Now, as soon as I change that, the height of the wall became 8 feet, which is what we want in this case. Now, come back out here. You notice this has changed to 8 feet. Now, to keep this chain option selected, it helps keep the walls chained together, or you don't have to stop, basically. So, make sure you have that selected. So, now... We can start placing the wall, so let's put our cursor about right here. We'll make this, uh, so let's go over right here. We'll make this a 23. Let's, let's cancel that. Let's put it about right here. So, so let's make this. Well, wall, let's make this a 23 feet. A 23 feet by. Let's go with 54. 23 by 54 feet. And if you see why the chain is working, or you can just say 54 right here. Enter. Sorry, this computer is really slow. And come down here and you see the line. When that line shows up, that means the line, the wall is aligned, and you just snap it there and come back to there. So there's our perimeter of our building. Okay. Now we can move this around to uh, to just get this centered into our model. For this case, we can do this, but if we have other coordinates or shared parameters, we have to set it up. But we just want a simple little house. So let's just move that across the whole thing. Or you can leave it where yours is. Doesn't matter. Okay, now. Yes, we remember we are on level one finished floor, and we have our our basic walls placed.
Okay, now, come over here and hit the modify button if you want to get out of the command and start something new. So let's go, now let's select wall again on the architecture. So we're going to place some interior walls now. Come over to the properties, to the wall properties. Select interior, four and seven eighths. And double check the constraints. And finish floor level, wall center line, top, and the wall is up to level top plate, and it's HP. So now, you can do these walls any way you like basically but let me just do these based on we did a little project together a while back let's kind of duplicate that so we can place a wall here i think we're going to just stay here let's say 14 let's say 12 6. bring this down let's say 10 feet or 9 6. come across about here, we had a laundry room and a bathroom, and I think that total was about, uh, let's say 15 feet. <clears throat> Come back up to the center line. Now, here, I think we had a bedroom. Let's go make this bedroom, and I say that was about 14 feet. Let's make it, yeah, that's a 14 feet. Put it there. Now let's separate these walls for our bathroom and our laundry room here. I think six feet is a good size for a laundry room, or we can just go seven feet. Now on this side, I think we had uh, two bedrooms. This was a little three bedroom bungalow we worked on. So uh, we just want to do a wall right here. Let's make this three foot six from that wall, which is pretty good hall quarter space. Up the line here, wall there. Uh, We'll do another wall here for this bedroom. And let's put another wall here for that one. So we can test these out by just uh, clicking this wall. And that's 16 feet, that's a good size bedroom. So let's drop that down to 12. We want to get a little more space out here in this area. So we can move this back to zero, I think. Oh, yep. So now we've got uh, nine, six. That's a bit small. So let's play around with some of these tools. Let's move this. Let's make this space back here. Let's make this 11 feet for this space. Or even better, let's make it 13. Now we can make this anything we want. We're just playing around here. And then we can use the alignment tool, modify the line. We're going to align this wall face to this one, so they equal. So there we have our basic setup for our, our we're going to have a bathroom here. So this will be a laundry room, this will be a bathroom, this will be a bedroom. And these are also bedrooms, these two. And we'll have our kitchen in the back. So let's move on here. Let's just measure this. Let's just measure this. Let's 
three six. That's okay. In the center line, the center line. Now, right now we have this these walls laid out how we want them, but I think we want to get a little more space in here. Let's make this four feet. Because we made it from the score walls and we want this to be at least three feet. So just make sure it is, we'll do that. So now we have our we have a little over three feet to clear that. So now we want to do is just go to the three D view and see what we have. So there's our our layout for our house. Pretty simple layout. Okay. And now this is here is a view cube. And you can rotate the object down by holding your left mouse button down by right. You grab the view cube. Okay. And you can always return to your home view by clicking this home icon. Now this is a good time to save your work. So hit the uh, little save button here. Now, this is a good time to select our doors and windows. So let's go back to our finished, our level one finished floor. And so now we want to go into architecture and hit the door tool. tool. Now, we don't have too many door options here. Just the one uh, door with the different sizes. So now, uh, here, we want to escape out of this and let's go into load family. Hit insert and load the family. Make sure you're in US Imperial. And we'll go down to go and double click on doors. So there we are right there. And you see a preview of all the different doors that we have that shows up here. So you can tell what each one of these is. Okay. And we can go to like residential. So the doors I'm going to select here, I'm going to select that one, and let's see, what's the good, uh, sure double face glass, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we'll take the six panel. And the double glass. We'll take these two and we'll hit open. Now, once we have these open, and now those doors are loaded in, the door types. And here, Rivers gives us a catalog so we can select these two different doors and that'll show the types that we have. So we can, we can do this one of two ways. We can take uh, for the exterior double glass, we can take the 72 inch by 96. Uh, I think that's going to be a little bit high because well, it was an 8 foot. So let's select uh, the 72 by 80. Or well, let's take the 72 by 84 and just say OK. This is like a little French door, and then we'll just place it. Okay, where is it? Oh, sorry, folks. So, go back in the architecture and select door. And the type selector, there it is in the type selector, the 72 by 84. Let's place it. Place it on this wall now. If you place it this way, it'll open the doors out. Or we can place it and hit this little arrow 
to reverse it to open it inside. Now we want to place the back door. So let's place a uh, place a 36 by 80 for our back door. Okay. Now you can change from a left hand door to a right hand door by changing using the space bar or in there tear out or you can press the the double arrows. Now let's go and select windows. So we can go up to our architecture tab and select window. And again, we don't have that many windows uh, selected here that's in this template model. So we have to load them in the same way we did the doors. So go back to uh, insert, load family. Go to windows. So. Let's see. Let's have a look at the window types that we have to choose from. Now, I want to pick that one right there. So, I want to open that window. I'm going to insert that window, I'm sorry. Now, here, we can just place the window. But I think we want to make that window wider. Now, another thing is we can just do this. We can select the window. We can edit type. And this type uh, opens up. Type properties. Now, the width of this window is three feet. Now I want to change this to six feet. We can just type six and hit enter. The height is fine, it's four feet. The seal height uh, is a bit high. Let's make this two foot three inches. And hit enter. Everything seems okay from this point on. And these other properties below that we'll learn how to work with later on. So this uh, now we want to rename this. We want to make this a seventy-two by forty-eight. Click OK. Apply and OK. There's that window. We made it bigger. So, so I don't know why this is still at two feet because that's we changed that. So let's make it two feet six. So I'll put that one over there. Now if I place it, now I'll place another one here. Now I'll place this one, and let's just place the one over here and show you something. So if I place it here. It'll be on the outside of the wall. On the here, it'll be on the inside. And these little tick marks will show you where it is. So when these are outside, that means it's on the outside of the window where we want to have it placed. And now let's space this window. Let's see, four foot six. Let's make these four foot four feet from the window. Let's just go four feet. And there we have uh, our windows placed. Okay, so there we have windows and we have uh, two doors. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to add interior doors here. 
So we go back to our uh, our, our door, and we have this 36 by 80. But we can select some single flush doors here, and we can make these. Uh, I think 36 by 80 would work. So we need at least three foot doors. So let's put one here. Let's put one here. And then we can rotate this guy around or just hit the arrows and change the, the, the location of the door. Just place another door here. Let's put the door here. Let's add another door right here. Now we're going to click this arrow for the location of the door. So that's all of our doors we have in here now. So now let's go and add more windows. Actually, I think so the architecture tab window. This one here, here. Now, as you can see, that goes on the outside. I mean, you can use any type of window you like here. I'm just using these. So let's make uh, another window here. Now these two rooms, the bathroom and the utility room can be small, so what you can do here is you can hit the modify and go down into our windows again. And we can select, let's go with a Let's just do a two by two in these two rooms. Actually, we can just do a, yeah, that's fine. So now we have our doors and our windows all placed. So now let's look at our 3D view again. And there's all of our windows and doors so this is our house so far now the next thing we want to do is place the roof now let's put a floor pad level one click on the roof by footprint tool it's asking you uh, where you want to place the roof so we're going to place it on the top plate so the top of the wall so yes click yes right here now Revit is, is uh, defining the boundaries in the uh, of the roof structure so I want to change a couple of things here I want to overhang here uh, I say say one foot six about or whatever and come to the properties dialog box generic 12 inches fine so basically level is top plate um bone bounding okay this is a raptor cut this is a plum cut that's okay and so as the oh now as i hover over this roof over these walls you will see so 
So I'll click here, I'll click here, I'll click here, and here. So after, after selecting now for a while, so you'll see this little symbol here. This is the slope of the roof here. It seems kind of steep. So let's make this a let's make this a five and twelve slope. Let's make this just to see. Now click on the green check mark to finish. And now to see what it looks like. Let's go into the 3D view. And there's our look. That looks pretty good. Now let's say if your client wanted a different roof type. So let's say they wanted a gable on this end, so let's click select the roof and hit edit footprint and where it says uh, but this might be easier in the floor plan view. So let's select this. Let's do this in the floor plan view. It'd be easier there. So let's say they wanted a gable roof on this end, so just uncheck define slope like that, and I'll finish the roof. And then go back into our 3D view, and there you have uh, a gable in at that end. So to clear this gap where the wall comes up, it's easy to fix. Just select the wall and attach top to base. And then select the roof. And there you go. So it's easy to change the style of a roof. So let's go back. Uh, we can leave this and go back to the roof we had if you like. So let's go back to our home view and our 3D view. Now let's go in and add some furniture. For the floor plan view, so let's go to a uh, level one. Click on uh, component, and then we want to go load family. Insert load family. Let's click on furniture. So let's go with beds. Let's just go with a standard bed here. Let's go open. And let's place one right about there. Let's just set it right there. Put another one in here. Now that's our bathroom. And put one here and hit the space key to rotate it around. Let's place a bed here. Now, let's go into our living room area and let's go to architecture, uh, insert, load family. Now, you can go in and play around with this. And put us uh, many things in it if you want. So let's go to uh, the sofa here or the living room. This is just getting you to see how to load uh, things. We've got an architecture component, and there's our sofa. And then we can go and put a table here. Now you can do uh, plumbing fixtures as well. So let's go into our insert again. 
with a load family and we're going to go to plumbing so architecture we won't we won't use MEP yet because MEP is smart this is just for architecture so it's for equipment water heaters no not water heaters we want to go with uh, fixtures so fixtures let's put a bathtub 3D freestanding hit OK. So we'll go to our component again. And there's our freestanding tub. We just place it right there. And you can just move that up a little bit. I mean, you can do your house however you want. This is how you do it. So we need to have a toilet here now. So this is our bathroom next to that room. Let's shift this, shift this over a bit. So with uh, insert, load the family. Let's go with um, plumbing again. Architecture, pictures. Let's go with uh, water closets, toilet. So toilet domestic, two three D, and open. Just gonna place that component here. There's the toilet. Let's place it right about here. I'm not going to do all this. You, uh, you, can, you can do this. Uh, here you can put a wash and a dryer. Um, and over here, let's put a table here. Let's still have a look in our 3D view. There's our house. Now, you can see what we have here. Let's come down here in our view, and let's hit wireframe view. So we can see inside that we have here. We have our windows and our tables and our beds. So uh, decorate this or model this however you like and finish it off. Now we have a house nearly furnished. Now let's go and do uh, do some things here in this living room. So let's go and add a table. Go with furniture again. Let's add tables. So let's add a Set a dining table back here in our dining room. Well, let's do a round one here. So let's open. And I guess our dining room area will be right over here because this is where we're going to put our kitchen equipment in a later video, maybe. Okay, so let's go and place our architecture component. And there's our dining table. So that's all the furniture we want to do for now or for your own practice. You can finish this. I'm just doing this now to get you started. You got TVs and tables and a lot of other things you can use or load into this model. So now let's go and look at the wireframe view in 3D again. And that's just selecting this. So now let's look at the hidden line view. So the hidden line view is uh, 
where we can see everything that's good. Now I'm I'm shift I'm moving this around holding down the shift key and the mouse button. This is another way to move it around. Just hold the shift key and move it around. Now let's add color and texture to the roof. So let's select the roof. Come in and hit edit type. Under structure, click on the edit. So here, we want to add something here. Let's go select this level builder block here. We got these material libraries here. And let me see if we can change this for you. I don't know why it's so slow today. So, wow, unbelievable. <laughs> so I'm going to hit double click on wood shape. And then you want to go ahead and say use render appearance, apply it, and you can look at that appearance here. There it is, and say OK. OK. Hit OK. And then look at this in realistic view. Wow, my, this laptop is very slow. Yours shouldn't take this long. There. So there's our roof finish that we just did. So now let's look at our wall. So let's select one wall and hit tab. And that picks up all of our walls. So we want to do the same thing to these walls. So let's go edit type. And let's do the same thing, edit. Hit the little builder block here. And say, um, let's find some nice material. Let's let's search for one. Let's just say stone. Oh, let's use this stone right here. Let's just use stone. And real quick, uh, use render appearance. There's appearance. That's what it look like. And let's say apply and OK. OK. And there. Now I don't like that. That doesn't look too good to me. So let's go and change this. So let's hit tab. So let's go back, edit, edit type. We got stone here. Let's change this to something else. Uh, hmm. Let's see if I can find some fighting in here. Just regular wood siding. Okay, let's go with that one. Let's see what that looks like. So you can pick and choose all of these sidings you want to hit a, a, a render appearance. Tick that box. That's what, yep, I like that better. And let's hit apply and OK. Hit OK here. And there, there's our siding. So that looks a little better, I think. So you can change the color of material. Uh, you can change these roof types. So this is our basic house. So let me shift around here. Go back. Let's go back to floor plan level one now. Let's go to the View tab here. Click on Section. Let 
Let's place a section view just like this. Just click on this little squiggly line here to clean it up. And you pull this up. Now, if you look over here in our project browser, on the sections, this is section one. So let's click on that. And that is a way we can look into the, um, the view. Now let's go back to level one. I noticed something there. We need to pull this uh, view extents. And we can double click here also to go back into that view. So that's a section through there. And um, I'm going to go back to level one. And let's look at this other neat little thing here. Let's go look at uh, view. Let's go to camera. And so let's take this little guy and go right here to here. And there's a 3D view of the inside. And then to move it around, you can use the view cube to shift and move around inside of the um, view. And let's do realistic so we can see it. So there you go. So once you create the camera view, it'll be here, and it'll be called 3D View 1, or you can rename it to whatever you like. Okay, so that's the end of this phase of the project. Quick little uh, introduction to build, doing a house. So uh, later on, we'll cover other things, but thank you for watching this video. I want to break it down and do a very basic interior house or a little house. Thank you and bye.